Cryptocurrencies and blockchain continue to make headlines. You may have heard of Bitcoin as well as Satoshi Nakamoto. I'm here at the Blockchain Economic Forum here in New York City, and we're learning about trends as well as the outlook for cryptocurrencies. So why don't you join me while I head on over to the conference here in New York? Blockchain technology offers a host of solutions to many issues and, and has unleashed a massive amount of creativity uh, amongst uh, in all sorts of areas of the economy. Uh, we're at very early stages and it's an incredibly exciting time with uh, such potential for the future. There is a lot of potential, but unfortunately, regulation comes into uh, play as well. I know that you'll be talking about regulation in terms of uh, tokens tomorrow at this conference. So what do you make of regulation? I think that uh, the concerns about regulation are somewhat overblown, uh, that uh, the regulators in the United States have actually been very judicial in the way that they've approached regulation of, of tokenizations to date. Of course, they put a lot of responsibility on those who are issuing the tokens to, you know, with a certain assurance that they're doing what they need to do to be compliant with law. And when it comes to cryptocurrencies, do you think uh, they're in a bubble right now? I'm not into prognosticating uh, on an economic uh, scale. I think that we have seen a certain level of exuberance uh, and whether in fact that exuberance has led to a, a bubble. Uh, we've certainly seen a number of different types of, of players come into tokenizations, uh, some of which maybe should not have done so. Um, uh, but there are a lot of very, very good projects, very stable projects, and I hope that uh, we'll deal with this in a very rational fashion on a going forward basis. I think it has the potential to change uh, quite a few things. For example, you know, following the chain of production from you know, goods that have been manufactured right through to delivery. And you know, utilizing that, for example, we could prevent um, you know, counterfeit goods, for example, counterfeit medicines, etc., coming onto the market. As uh, somebody from South Africa, a South African citizen, I think there's a lot of ways that blockchain could be transformative in terms of um, economy for uh, people that are poverty-stricken. For example, there's a lot of people, hundreds of millions of people in the world economy right now that can't participate uh, because they do not have an identity document. And I think the blockchain could be an easy way of setting up and tracking those people uh, as they move between countries, for example, refugees, etc., um, they often lose passports, etc., and there's no record of where they come from or where they exist or their birth certificate. So I think the blockchain could be one way of storing those, you know, documents. Even in the case of a state failure, uh, these people would still be able to, you know, move and participate. Here in the U.S., the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, they uh, plan to launch uh, Bitcoin futures. And as a result, we saw Bitcoin uh, prices hit new record highs yet again today. But what do you expect to see in the cryptocurrency space going forward? Well, right now, the total cryptocurrency market cap is less than 1% of the S&P 500. And I think there's still tremendous room for growth. Um, you know, I can't bet on any particular technology. But... I would say that I do expect strong growth in terms of the total cryptocurrency market cap. I think there's still a lot of, uh, lot of room to grow and uh, I think we'll see some amazing new sort of hikes and uh, utility tokens in the future that have you know, potentially transformative uh, use cases. Well, blockchain exploded this year. So yeah, I, I can say I'm a YouTuber, but I've been only doing this for a very short amount of time. And there's so much interest in this space. Everyone wants to know about this technology. Everyone wants to get rich quick, right? So right now we're at the phase where everyone wants to get into this. And the thing is, the technology itself is extremely groundbreaking. But what we're going to see is we're going to see this phase where it's going to be quite hard for us to adopt initially. I think understanding this is really hard. I've been trying to teach people about how to understand crypto. What is this? And I've been talking to that guy over there, and we're talking about safety. And uh, these are the things that is going to slightly ch like make crypto a little bit hard to adopt. But what I see here is I see lots of potential. 
right? We have the ability to have a decentralized database. We have the ability of having smart contracts. We have the ability to kind of remove third party away from transactions and remove uncertainty, right? If you have a smart contract, then the smart contract is all about code, right? So the code can dictate and you can trust the code to kind of provide the both of the parties with what they want and making sure that transaction takes place without any uncertainty. So it's all about reducing the amount of uncertainty in this space and we're getting there. So I'm super excited about it. I'm like one of the people that really love this. But uh, of course, I do have to say, it's going to take a while for things to arrive. It's one of the things that it's kind of new. And I think it's going to take a while for different people. I think YouTube has a great space in this thing because like, um, personally, why I started was um, when every time I want to learn about something, I YouTube it. Like I'm like, hey, how do I set up this like camera? And this guy has a camera over there. How do I set up a camera? How do I set up a drone? I YouTube it. So I thought I wanted to contribute to this space and say, okay, I, I have a bit of understanding of how blockchains work. You know, I want to learn with you guys. And that was the aim of this channel. It was all like when I started, it was all about learning and taking that forward and seeing the vision for this. The thing is, of course, it's going to be a while. So that's my two cents. It's going to be a while, but we're going to get there and it's going to change a, like almost everything that we know today. And Mike, with any new technology, there's always risk involved, but it's great to see your enthusiasm. I'm sure you've uh, met people who are running startups in this space. So can you tell me what excites you in terms of trends? You know, there's so many things. So my favorite thing, my background is in gaming. So I have a gaming background. I've been a game developer for a while. So I love gaming. I've been doing product management, marketing, and stuff for gaming as well. So the thing is, one thing that's exciting in the gaming space is how if we can use blockchain to kind of solve item transfers in gaming? Can we trade items between video games? Can we trade, um, you know, there's so much digital value in um, gaming and I feel like this is one of the spaces that's being explored this year. There's a lot of competition in this space. I don't want to say there's no competition. We've seen like four or five companies. I can actually cover four or five new startups doing this. So this is the, my area of expertise. Be above and beyond that, we also have real estate. They're coming in, you know, they're trying to uh, tokenize almost everything. So tokenize everything is the thing. Um, so we have real world assets that are being to tokenized. We have digital assets that are also being like transferred and being placed on a blockchain. So like it's quite a cool space and I'm just super interested in almost everything here. I would say it's more uh, an evolution than a revolution. There's a lot of energy and resources going into blockchain. I'm really impressed whenever I'm at an event like this, how many people work on it. And, uh, and I think it will slowly but surely it will uh, get a place in the, in the infrastructure. And cryptocurrencies as well as digital currencies continue to be in the headlines. But where do you see that going in the near future? I think uh, digital currencies are here to stay. Uh, it's unclear how they will look like, but uh, if you look at the new applications in the Internet of Things, for instance, they will be based on digital currencies. Whether it's Bitcoin, I don't know. It will also depend whether central banks will issue their own digital currencies. I was at a conference yesterday and I was surprised by how much central banks are doing in, in that space. They don't say so much publicly, but they take it very seriously. They think about whether they move their, their own payment systems to the blockchain. There are pilot projects in big central banks, so uh, they take it very seriously. And there you have it. There are plenty of opinions regarding cryptocurrency as well as uh, blockchain technology. If you're here in New York City, the Blockchain Economic Forum continues for another day on November 1st. Come here to the Intercontinental Hotel in Times Square, New York, and you can see for yourself. I'm Remy Blair reporting for Modern Wall Street from New York.